Hi, welcome to the seventh tutorial video of Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video we are going to discuss how to add transitions in your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. I have downloaded some new videos, and I have imported them into my Premiere. Let's say, I want to add some transitions between my clips. We add transitions where one clip ends and a new one starts. Let's say I want to add a transition between these two clips. To add transitions, simply go to the Effects tab from the Project window. Here you will find different folders like presets, audio effects, video effects, etc. We will explain them in the next tutorial video. To add transitions simply click on Video Transitions. It will display some subfolders. This is some basic type of transitions provided by the Adobe Premiere and categorized into different folders. For example, I want to add a dissolve transition between my clips. So I will click on the dissolve folder. In dissolve we have different types of dissolve transitions. Like additive dissolve, cross dissolve etc. Let's say I want to add a morph cut transition in my video. I will simply click on it and will drag it to the clips where we want to add. In the Premiere, we have different types of transitions, like in this second clip I want to add a different type of transition. Let's say I want to add a zoom transition. So simply click on the zoom folder, then I will drag and drop zoom transition in my videos. In the third video I want to add another type of transition, let's add a transition from slide folder. Now we have added three different transitions in our four videos. Let's watch the resultant video. Usually we don't add transitions in our videos, because without transitions the video looks more realistic and professional, but sometimes we add transitions, mostly we add basic transitions for graphics, logo, overlays and things like that. Now at the timeline you will see a line, that shows the transition. If we increase the line, it will increase the transition time. From here we can increase, and decrease our transition time. Let's say if I increase the transition time for this clip. it will look like this. Therefore we suggest to keep the transition time as normal, which is by default don't increase it. But you have the option to increase and decrease, if you need to. If you click on the transition, and then click on effects controls, in effects control you will find some different options. As basically the first clip and B is the second video clip of the timeline, in which we have added the transition. If you check this box, it will display the thumbnails of the videos instead of displaying A and B. We are seeing both thumbnails. We are currently on zoom transitions. Maybe in other transitions you will not find this option, but we have this option here. So let me explain this function. At the center of both thumbnails, you will find small circles. These circles are used for defining the in and out points of the transitions. For example, let's watch this video. The video is zooming to the center of the first video and zooming out from the center of the second video. This is because we currently have small circles in our center. If I move these circles from the center the target points will be changed. Let's say, I want to zoom in on top left and want to zoom out at bottom right. Now let's watch the resultant video. This is very important, because sometimes we want to focus on different things in our videos. From alignment options, we can change the alignment of the transitions. For example we can set it as its center, or its start, or at the end, the result you will see on the screen. From duration, we can set a specific duration for our transition, if we want to set a specific duration for the transitions. On the right side window, you will find some basic information. From here we can also customize our transitions. 
For example I want to reduce the transition time on the first clip. If I do this on timeline, it will reduce the duration on both clips. From here we can, can decrease and increase the duration as we want to do. The midline shows the cut, it indicates where our first clip is ending, and where the second one is starting. For adding transitions, we also have a second option. Simply click on the effects workspace from the top. You will find all this information here. We have different types of transitions, try it in your videos, you will understand the result of each. Now I want to give you a pro tip. Let's say I have multiple clips on my timeline. And in some of these clips I want to add one type of transition. Let's say I want to add cross dissolve transition. For this click on the transition that you want to add and then click on set as default. Now the cross dissolve transition is our default transition. To add it to the videos, simply right click on the cut where you want to add the transition and then click on apply default transitions. And thus you will be able to add a transitions faster as compared to drag and drop. In Premiere basically we have some basic transitions and we can also create and download professional transitions for our professional videos. We will learn this in our next classes how to do that. For now we will get a break, see you in next tutorial video. I appreciate your watching. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.